Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my favorite way to get the dodge and burn look without actually dodging and burning. It's fast and easy and you can make a lot of different adjustments to it. And that's just using the diffuse glow layer. So let's start by going up here to layer, new live filter layer, blur, and then down here to diffuse glow. Now we can change any of these we want. The radius is going to make our highlights either sharper when we go down to zero or blurrier up here to 100. So let me get some highlight. There we go. Now you can see it better. So really sharp to really soft and blurry. And then of course the intensity is how intense, how bright it is. You can change that. And the threshold is how much is included. When you go up high, not much. When you go down lower, you get more highlights in there. And the opacity is just, yeah, how much of it shows through. I always change the blend mode to one of three, either overlay, soft light, or linear light. Linear light can be pretty intense though. So I usually lower the opacity a lot. <laughs> so bring it up. This just depends on the picture. Every picture is different. So one picture might look great with the linear light all the way to 100% or different picture might look better with it with hardly any I mean just you just play around with the blend well yeah, play around with the blend modes and see what you come up with so we are going to leave this like it is I think I actually for this picture I kind of like the sharper highlights so we're gonna move that back down and then you can also click over here on the blend options and this will change the shadows and the highlights individually. So let's say for instance, I like, I like the highlights in this picture, but the shadows are a little bit too dark. So where it says source range, source layer ranges over here on the left are the shadows and over here on the right are the highlights. So I'm going to just grab the shadows and bring them down a little and that softens them up. They're not quite as black little easier on the eyes and you can use this one to adjust the highlights if you wanted but we're gonna leave it the way it is and one more thing you can do is because this is a mask layer you can just take your paintbrush tool and make sure it's got black paint and right now it's at 100 percent opacity just for the purposes of this video usually you start lower so that you don't do it all at once but we're just going to paint right over this and take it away. We're going to say we don't like the highlights right here, so we're just going to paint it away. And then if you change your mind and you decide, oh, I did want the highlights there, you just come back to swatches or wherever your color is and make sure you've got white. And then you can just paint right back over it and it brings it back. That's why I like masks. So if you accidentally make a mistake, it's really easy to correct. And that's about all there is to it. It's really simple and fast and easy, and it works on most pictures. It doesn't work on every single picture that I've tried it on. But usually it's a good starting point. You can do this, and then you can add other dodging and burning methods to it if you want. So don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.